they use vault everybody yeah uh, so i've been posting videos that i've been you know picking up a bunch of dwarf stuff the bigger stuff um i've actually got them just below below there so yeah got the steel behemoth the big old greater earth elemental and then here the one i have in oh no that's my um earth elemental regiment and then back behind there you can just barely see it is my unit of brock riders so i have mess to assemble for dwarves these however um i got a bunch of this stuff they came in a pre pre-loved lot that i had um, picked up on ebay where i got my original uh, steel behemoth and my my first ever like three-man squad regiment of the earth elementals and the greater earth elementals so i've got all that stuff uh, <clears throat> now i've already cleaned up there was a big fat 20-man unit of hammerers there or whatever they call them they have the the big big two-handed hammers so i cleaned them up because they were cool and cleaned up everything else but these guys were in pretty rough disrepair uh, if you i mean if you look man like their arms don't match up quite right i don't know maybe that but that's the glove okay so that guy's looking pretty good let me see there's some folks that are rough um, one of them this guy in particular has his arm cut off you know there would be a an arm piece here but it's been cut off so i will have to green stuff a bicep piece and tricep piece and forearm and that to attach to a model uh, but you know however that's okay but i've got you know a cannon and an organ gun here so 20 sharpshooters or 20 just riflemen and then 20 just dudes of the realm you know, sword and board kind of guys you know hammer and board axe and board i like them because they're killers. so nothing too special but they do need some serious tlc uh, <clears throat> yeah um you can uh, with how their backs are and stuff and you can actually see how this guy the nub is still on the inside of his shoulder bit there and that might be one of the reasons why it doesn't fit all that well uh, i don't know but on some of these the on this back arch piece there's a nub that isn't even cut off i just recently cut one off this model here you can see how white that cut is and you can tell the the state of the super glue i've been trying to pop them off the bases as well because the original guy i mean you know yeah Clearly, if you don't do this for a while, you, you probably don't know. But you have to put these things, especially if they have the, the straight rifles and stuff, you cock them at a 45 degree angle, corner to corner, to where they can actually rank up. You know, that's an old uh, rank and file thing, you know, the that you have to get used to. I did it all the time in Games Workshop models. Uh, it's just something you did, just so that they would rank up and move the trays. <clears throat> but here I've got, you know, these guys that are hitting each other and they're not able to to get in close you know it's, there's no there's no closeness so i've had to break off several other bases that guy probably didn't do it but this guy's wobbly he sure did so you know, snapped them off so you could turn them and just try to make the most of it so i'm doing this real quick before october hits now i've got all my undead built and primed ready to go some of them aren't primed but there's only one special case for one not being primed it's because i want to make some wings of the honey maze for him uh, so that'll be fun fun times there but october is going to be my painting month for the undead and then i can focus either do dwarves or other things i've actually been thinking about maybe trying to do my uh my big old nasty warlord titan right there so maybe maybe building him i did when i was in the philippines i built a 10-man squad of tacticals so i might you know make their bases pretty and then prime those guys um, I, I was able to put a lot of work into them since they're the only things that i built in the philippines but recently i built a lot 
of Noble Armada ships. So here I have my second fleet of the Hazat ships and the extra um, little destroyer type model there that my buddy sent me. So I have that fleet built. I haven't primed it yet. Boo hiss to me, yes I know. But then here I have the remnant of my um, it, Lee Halan stuff built. And I also built the fleet, the box set fleet I was able to get for House Dakados. So I'll get those wrapped up, taped up, and primed just like I did my Mara Cruiser. Man, I love that thing. And actually what I may very well do after I get these dwarves sorted, and it'll take a little while to do that because everything needs to be broken apart and recleaned and everything, but I kind of want to paint my Lee Halan fleet. Um, the thing is, is I don't want to burn out a painting before I start the mad dash for the undead stuff. Yeah, and, um, <clears throat> pardon me. So, I've got two shelves here of undead. Um, I just finished building my third unit of the Revenant uh, Calvary that I got from the crazy box, the fantasy crazy box. I'm super excited about that. That right there, that Pharaoh dude with the two weapons, he, I'm going to um, craft him some wings out of plastic card to be the um, wings of honey maze. Uh, I just, I want things to be WYSIWYG kind of a deal as much as I can, you know, but um, yeah, so I'm going to paint them up. They're going to be pretty cool. I'm going to try, what I, I think I really want to do is get my second unit of werewolves painted. Um, that's going to be a thing on the table. Maybe one of my two units of Reaver Cavalry to be painted. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to play it by ear and see what I want to do. I do have a second unit of Reaver Cat or Infantry to paint. Uh, you know, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I will do it. Yo. So I've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I don't think I really want to grind through a skeleton unit. But who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I will. But I think I could probably do the werewolves and the skelly unit. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, but it's all in the future, just uh, in a few months. But, um, yeah, uh, stay tuned. We'll see about doing more dwarf stuff here in the future. I also still have to put together my Basileans. So I just have the big fun stuff here put together. I've got some really great 3D prints of some uh, Elohi. And then I have the original Elohi back there, just the three of them I really don't like. The rest of models, I think that they're poo, and especially when you got these fantastic and awesome looking 3D prints of these other babes, their wings are so detailed and wonderful. So I had to go nuts. So, yeah, basically, I bought two hordes of those. Um, yeah, I just can't see myself spending $30 for those things, those three right there, 30 bucks for those, and then. Here, these things, I mean, I think in total it was $30, maybe even less than that. It was nuts. So, yeah. Anyway. But, um, yeah, I gotta, I want to get another unit of those guys and another, of course, another Phoenix. But, you know, plate is full and uh, I just need to figure out what, which I want to do. You know, I kind of do want to paint that Mara Cruiser because it's obtain, it's unobtainium. Very, very hard to get. Um, but we'll see. You know, I still have some big beasty things for the dwarf army to build. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's even Battletech up there to paint. There's so much to do. So much to do. Anyway, y'all, take it easy. Get out there. Vote. Uh, man, or register to vote. And don't lose your minds, man. Stay safe out there. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.